Today I want to talk to you about how to handle the highs and lows of life. I'm Patrick Medivin and today I want to talk to you about some things that over the years totally frustrated me so much that I finally had to figure out a way to create a formula for it for me to stay sane instead of driving myself nuts. You see, in life, life is rarely ever all good or all bad. Life is normally filled with lots of highs and lots of lows. It is rarely staying in the equilibrium of everything just being good and dandy. There's a lot of things that happen in life. Life events happen. You know, one day we could be graduating from college and we're so excited. The next minute we're breaking up with our girlfriend or our boyfriend. Next minute we can't get a job or if we got a job we got fired. Then our friends don't want to talk to us because we got into a big fight over something small and now you don't have a lot of money in your hands because you are in debt $22,000. Then you meet a girl but you don't have the money to marry her and she dumps you because her father doesn't like you. And next thing you know you meet the love of your life, you guys hit it off, things are going very good, you land a job, you get a big race, everything is great, then a relative passes away, then you go to a funeral, then you get married two months later, that's life, that's just, it's life is rarely in the middle, it's normally highs and lows of life, and two illustrations I made, and this is what I've seen, was studying a lot of different people over the years, I've noticed the formula for madness is very simple, what I notice a lot of times is that this is life, highs and lows. I notice a lot of people stay in their highs too long. Meaning, somebody starts a business, they do a grand opening party, and they keep partying for two months. Then two months later, their party stops because they go out of business. So they, they're too excited about the fact that I just opened up a business. Or somebody gets a college degree, and they celebrate four months because they got a college degree. They don't realize the purpose of it is to start a career. So then they go into depression and they stay in depression for way too long. I'm not a good person. I'm a loser. I'm not smart. I'm not this. And they mourn way too long and this becomes a trend in life. And you know what this does? This drives people nuts. What I've learned over the years is this is how life needs to be. Meaning, like a heartbeat, it goes, <laughs> right? It's heartbeat right after each other. It doesn't go and stay. Because if I don't breathe, what happens? I die. See, here is an illustration of staying sane. When you have a victory, you go up quick, but you come back to equilibrium. Another quick victory, you come back to normal. Another small victory, you come back to normal. A crisis happens, somebody passes away, you come back to normal. You have a big victory, you get a raise, you come back to normal. Over here, your kid breaks a leg, you come back to normal. No matter what happens, if you stay at the highs too long, or if you stay at the lows too long, you are going to drive yourself nuts. The key is to go up, celebrate your victory quick, and come back to normal again, because you still don't walk on water. And the key is to, when you have terrible times that happens, come back up, because life is going to be okay. This is about where life is at. But in order for you as an entrepreneur, as a human being, as anybody who's doing something big with your life, if you are planning to stay sane for the rest of your life, you have got to learn how to manage the lows of your life as well as the highs of your life. It's never a good idea to take two of them way too serious where you dwell into it and it takes you out for many, many months at a time. It's my message of the week to you and please be sure to subscribe on the bottom and comment on the channel.